Hey everybody, it's Teresa with Small Town Floyd Girl, and I have a yet another senior cheerleader to interview tonight. So tell us who you are and what you plan on doing. Hi, I'm Caden Offenberger. Um, I'm the class of 2023, and um, I plan to attend Liberty University after I graduate to get my bachelor's degree in early childhood education. So you're going to be a teacher? Yes, that's what you're planning? Awesome. All right. I love that. Love it, love it, love it. Actually, what I do on these videos is I've been asking these ladies some questions. So what do you find has been one of the most challenging parts of your senior year? Um, I'd say one of the more difficult parts of it is college applications. <laughs> and I'm trying to decide, like, you know, what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and all of that. It's It can be challenging at times, but it's uh, I'd say it's a really good learning experience. Um, and it, it's definitely helped me grow a little bit, but um, yeah, I'd say that's probably one of the biggest <laughs> one of the biggest challenges I faced. So I'd say college applications. I'm sure you've applied for scholarships as mm -hmm. well, um, and probably maybe even some financial yep. aid and that type of thing. Are all of them equally as difficult, or do you find one more difficult than the other? Um, I think it depends. There are some scholarships you can apply for that um, are kind of like a one and done thing. You know, I won a scholarship I applied for. Um, you're eligible if you just apply to the college. Some are a little more specific, so it really just depends, but um, I'd say they have a good variety. Awesome. Well, congratulations on that one at the <laughs> Thank scholarship. You. And so that final question that I wanted to ask is, what advice would you have for incoming? Floyd is a little bit different. We don't have a, a separate middle school, if you're not aware of that. Uh, high school, we actually have eighth graders here all the way up to seniors. So what advice would you have for the incoming eighth graders? Um, let's see, so my sister, she actually started her eighth grade year this year. So what I told her was that um, I would just say that, you know, take it all in and don't don't blink because it goes by really fast. But um, I would also say just get committed and stay committed um, and get involved because It'll truly make it a lot more fun. Um, and I feel like it's one thing to just, you know, come in every day, go to class and leave. But um, it truly makes a difference and makes it a lot more enjoyable when you get involved with your school and, you know, go to games and uh, support your football teams and, you know, clubs even, all of that. I think it makes it a lot more fun. So, yeah, just um, really soak it all in and don't, you know, I mean, take it seriously, but, you know, you get involved and just have fun with it. That's awesome. Those are wise words. You need to listen to this lady. <laughs> very, very wise words. And I will say personally for myself, that was my most fun year was my senior year because I got to get involved. That, that driver's permit, it helped a whole lot, but being able to be involved in things so and support your school. That's awesome. Right. Well, thank you so much, Caden. I of appreciate course. that. <laughs> thank you. And we'll see you next time.